what you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The arrogation of mankind ends now. Just like that, the god took away my brother. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So whilst we used to cross world after world, we are now trapped here. How many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. After I awoke, I was all alone. Right up until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going. All you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. It's a bit rude to say that about the power the gods just gave you. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of animal. So perhaps, because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your brother. Let's move then. The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign.
the animal powers you got from the statue of the seven. Oh, I'm so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers? Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> Who's there? feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. Stranger, I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. We're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? I mean, we've only been traveling partners for two months, but... We've already become the very best of friends. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake. Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? <laughs>
a little with your move. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camp so Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. you.